in this video I'm going to show you how you can improve your audio with the new OBS plugin Speechy. My name is Tree and I'm extremely support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before we begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash Tree. This plugin has been made by a friend of mine called Rob Dyselot. I'm Rob, and I've created Speechy. It's a VSD plugin or filter that you can load directly into your OBS and it can help you improve the sound of your microphone and your beautiful voice. It combines all the professional sophisticated tools into one simplified interface where you can achieve some amazing results even without any knowledge or expensive gear at all. I've put my years of experience as a sound engineer, voiceover and a streamer myself into it so we can achieve that professional sound that we're all trying to have. And back to you, Trui. This is a paid plugin, and therefore we're gonna check if it's worth the money. If you want to win this plugin, we're gonna give away five codes, so please watch to the end of the video where you get a chance to win them. So to find this plugin, you have to go to neverdieaudio.com. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Right here we see Speechy. We can buy it or try it for free. Like I said, the plugin is super new, so if it says coming soon, you gotta wait a little bit longer. So when you download this, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to OBS. We're in OBS right now and I'm currently talking to my Wave 3, which is totally compatible with the plugin, but the downside of it is that normally you run all your audio through the Wave 3, which means that you also run your music and your internet browser and your Discord through the same source. This means that if you're gonna apply a filter to it, you're gonna apply a filter to everything. So if you want this to work with the Wave 3, you need to send only your mic audio through OBS and not like all the other audio through the same mic input, but you have to add them manually through OBS. I also have my Blue Yeti here, which a lot of you have. Uh, I've got the black one because the black one is a lot nicer to look at than the, the, you know, the gray one. If you have a gray one, feel judged, I guess. A lot of you have this one and I feel like out of the box, the sound is okay, but not that great. So what we're gonna try is we're gonna add the Blue Yeti and we're gonna see, can we make it sound better with this plugin? So the first thing I want you guys to check is if you have your Blue Yeti on. So if this button here is not flickering, but just steady red. If you got this side with a blue logo towards your mouth. And the other things here is that you don't have the gain all the way up, but just a little. And this knob down here needs to be on the hard pattern, which is the third one, also known as the cardiotic pattern. Because if you're gonna do something wrong there, it's totally gonna sound different and you don't want that. Okay, so this is a Blue Yeti microphone right out of the box. It's just standing in front of me right now, about, I would say 20 centimeters from my mouth. I don't know, I think it's a feed. I don't, I don't, I'm not good with American um, metrics, but 20 centimeters. What we want to do now is we're gonna click on this cockwheel here and then add filters. Or what you can also do is go search it here in the sources, right click and filters. So there's two ways adding audio in OBS. And one is by going to settings and have your audio sources in here. What I have done is I disabled everything here and I added them through clicking here on a plus and then adding audio input and audio output. If you have done it through the settings tab, it's not here in the sources, but it is here in your audio mixer and you can just right click on this cock wheel and go to filters. This should be empty. So if you have filters here right now, please disable them by clicking on the eye so the eye will be disabled. Now what we can do is click on the plus and add VST two times a plugin. Click on that. We can call it whatever, we can keep this name, doesn't really matter. What we do here right now is we're gonna click on speechy. I'm not sure if you guys hear a difference already, if it's already working right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a plugin interface by clicking on here. Okay, this is the plugin. Right now, as you can see, it's on. It's on the one and not on the zero. I'm gonna put my headphones on because we're gonna play with audio and you know, it would be kind of convenient if I could hear as well. Before we're gonna begin, we're gonna need to set this on default. Just click on here, click on default and click on load. So the first thing I want to check is the input. The input needs to be between these lines. You see these two lines on the side? It needs to not be louder than this and not be quieter than this. If it's not loud enough, you want this to the right. If it's too loud, you will put this to the left. Like that. Now it's like less loud. If you want to reset it, just right click once. 
and now it's just a normal fill you're making. Then the next thing you want to do is check that this is on real time. This is a quality setting for the compressor. You can put this on best, which is best for recording, or real time, which is best for live streaming. Because my channel is all about helping you become a better streamer, I'm thinking you're probably a streamer and you want to keep this on real time. Then there's another option here, which is called transparent or aggressive. We would recommend aggressive for live streamers. So click on it until you see it become aggressive. Now you can see the compressor in work right here. What is a compressor? A compressor tries to make the audio levels the same. So if I scream, ah! it's probably not going to be super loud for you because the compressor is trying to make it less loud. But if I whisper right now, if I talk like this, it's going to bump it up and it's going to try and make the sound between two set volumes. It's going to try and keep the sound in this part in this between these lines so not too quiet not too loud then here we see the output this is how loud it is actually outputting now what we can do is we can add bass mid tones and high tones we do that by activating a tone booster right here if we want to add some more bass we can turn this one up whoop i recommend not going over half because then it's going to be really aggressive and the sound is gonna be mumbled or tin, like if you do it with the, uh, the high ends, you're gonna hear, probably I sound a little bit tin right now. So don't do that, like keep it not higher than the middle. And I'm just adding a couple of these. What I want to do is I want to test and hear how it sounds like. For me, uh, I need to like be able to hear it through OBS, so I'm gonna like go to advanced properties for the sound and just set this on moderate output. This way I can actually hear what you guys hear. And now if I record, test, one, two, three, four, test, 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 one, two, three, four, test, test, test. I can actually hear what you guys hear. This here is just a testing thing. So we can record a testing sample and then listen back to it on a loop for forever. <laughs> you can also stop it by just clicking again. But this is just a way to test your audio and mute your mic when you do it just so you don't talk over the sample because that, that can get a little bit confusing. So just tweak this however you like and just listen to it a couple of times and just tweak it what you think sounds good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a gate, a noise gate. This noise gate is kind of the same as you see in Discord. If you go to the Discord, to the sound settings, if you have your Discord on voice activation, you see this like bar here. Everything that goes behind this little marker is being heard on Discord. So everything in the green right now. The same on this application. This is our bar. So if we set our bar here, everything on the right of this bar will be heard on stream. Everything on the left of it won't be heard. Also, you see this light here. If it's red, that means that the sound is not coming through on your stream. There's a power button here. You can make it more aggressive by doing this. It cuts out quicker. I hope that you guys can still understand what I'm saying like this. Ugh. Or we turn it all the way to the left and then it's being less aggressive. Um, but keeping it in the middle, right click to reset it, keeping it in the middle is going to be just fine because we've set this for us already. Then we got the de-esser. So these are for like the s sounds. So if you say sound, sound, sound a lot, that would normally like be really bad. Sound, 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 sound. You probably already hear the difference right now. Keep this on the standard options. The standard options are probably fine. Just turn it on. Uh, what you can do is tweak it a little bit if you find that it's not great. You can also change the frequencies here. I would not do that if you don't know anything about audio. Just turn it on and leave it like this. Unless you hear a problem, then you can try and tweak it a little bit. The denoiser, this tries to remove the background noise. It is not as powerful as RTX software, so don't expect it to be like insane. But to be honest, like the best thing would be just sitting in a room without any air conditioning on without like any disturbing sound because like it's always better to have raw audio than actually get this denoiser on. If I'm gonna like put this up all the way to the right, you're gonna hear my voice is gonna be sounding pretty bad. Uh, that's because the denoiser is trying to compensate everything and that just doesn't sound good. So the best way is to just sit in a quiet room. If you are in a quiet room without any background sounds, you can also leave this off. Then we're gonna go to the deplosive. What it does is the P sound. So if I say P, 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 that sounds pretty horrible right now. But if I turn this on, P, 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 
can turn it up a little bit more. It's gonna sound a little bit better. So a lot of people have this thing. This thing is called a pop filter. Um, if you don't have one yet, I recommend you buy one, either one in these disc forms, these are the cheapest ones, or one that actually fits on your microphone. You have those iron ones, there's like a lot of different variations, but these are like super cheap. I will leave a link down below in the description. But if I put this in front of it and I say, let me turn off this filter. If I say, or you probably hear the difference like crazy. Um, but this is kind of like compensating for people that don't have a pop filter yet. Um, or if yours isn't working that great. But I do recommend you just buy a pop filter. Because they're awesome and they're pretty cheap. So what we want to do is always check what we've done. Test, one, two, three, four, test, test. <laughs> test, um, test, one, two, three, four, test, test. <laughs> test, um, test, one, two, three, four. That sounds pretty good. There is some advanced settings hidden here though. If we click on here, uh, we find the advanced settings. If you're not familiar with audio things and this was already overwhelming to you, I will recommend not clicking on the advanced settings and just leaving them as they are. If you do know a little bit more about audio, you can tweak a little bit here. There's an equalizer here. Uh, you can add some more bass, high tones, mid tones. You can do that. You can find problematic frequencies. There's some presets here, but you can also find custom frequencies. And then you have the limiter, you can add it to, uh, th minus three, minus six decibels, and you can add the spread. But if what I just said sounds like gibberish to you, uh, don't touch it and just leave it hidden. Some of the things are already on, but Rob kind of said them that they most likely work for you and you're gonna be fine. So don't worry about these settings, just leave this closed up and just try to mess with with like the, the tones here, the mids, the highs and the lows. If you want your voice to sound a little bit more uh, bassy, low, like, like I guess there's radio people, you can just pump this off and you don't have to worry about it here. So what do I think about this plugin? I think it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty easy to set up because a lot of the things are already set up for you. You don't really have to click on anything. Just turn them on and they usually work. Sometimes you need to tweak them because you know, like, Everybody uses a different microphone. Everybody sits in a different room with different acoustics. So you, you always have to do something. It's not like, you know, you just install something and it will be, you know, changing your microphone in like a thousand dollar microphone all of a sudden. That's not how things go. So where can you get this plugin? It will be available on neverdieaudio.com. I'll leave that link down below in the description. Like I said in the start of the video, we're giving away some codes for this program that you can get it for free. We're giving away five of them, so that's quite a lot of them. What I want you guys to do to be able to win is leave down in the comments which microphone you're using and I will just randomly pick five winners. If you win, I reply in your comment and you guys either have to give me your Twitter or your Discord or your email address so I can send the code to you. So make sure that you're willing to share some information with me that I can actually contact you because YouTube DMs are not a thing, really. I mean, they are, sort of, but I can't DM you guys, which is kind of annoying. YouTube, can we please implement that and I can just send DMs to people? Thank you. If you have any questions, please go to neverdieaudio.com and join the Discord server where I will be glad to answer all your questions. I want to thank Rob for sending me a code to be able to try out this program. Thank you. I really appreciate when people just think about streamers and they just try to improve everybody's stream. Because that's, yeah, that's my, that's my mission, you know? And if you're sitting here and you're like, I don't have a budget, but I also don't have a microphone, what am I supposed to do? I have a video where I talk about the cheapest microphone that you can use for streaming. It doesn't sound great out of the box, but you know, you just learned how to make it sound good. <laughs> you just blurred that. Let's hop into this video about the Moya microphone and I will see you there.